Let's talk about the struggles of circular breathing. So circular breathing is a pretty advanced thing. If you're not a pretty decent player already, I definitely wouldn't recommend going out of your way to try to learn circular breathing. I think it's just one of those things that we can add on, especially if we're more into new music or contemporary music that requires it more frequently, then it's a good idea to sort of pick up if you're already a pretty good player. So if you're like a beginner or intermediate or like even in advanced amateur, I probably wouldn't necessarily recommend going after circular breathing, but it's something that I've been practicing lately and experimenting with, and I thought maybe sharing some of my process and some of the things that I've been struggling with it might be helpful for anybody out there who may be learning to circular breathe themselves. So there are all kinds of videos out there that sort of explain the process of circular breathing and maybe it's like the blowing bubbles in a cup method is, is really popular and it's good. It's a good way to sort of get the basics of it. But I want to go a little bit more in depth of actually circular breathing on the clarinet because I feel like a lot of videos sort of say like do the bubbles in the cup or whatever other exercise that's kind of like circular breathing um, just to sort of get the idea of it, but they don't really go too in depth with how to actually do that on the instrument. So I wanted to do that for you and sort of talk about my process of learning it as well. So like it is for most people, the cups and blowing bubbles exercise wasn't that hard. Just a quick overview if you don't know what that is. It's basically you have a straw, you blow bubbles in a cup, and then you use your cheek air to keep the, the bubbles going while you inhale through your nose. And that's the whole premise of circular breathing is that we store air in our cheeks and then we push that out while we breathe in through our nose. And then we get a full circular breath. Um, it's a lot easier to do that though and do it with blowing bubbles than actually playing. So let's talk about some of the issues that come up when you're actually playing. So the obvious one is actually getting enough air stored in your cheeks and enough air pressure from your cheeks to actually make a sound. But there's also the embouchure to consider because when I first did this, like my embouchure just went super bad when I started puffing my cheeks and then I could barely make a sound anyways. And then when I tried to squeeze my cheeks in, then it got even worse and that made it so much harder to make a sound. So it wasn't necessarily an air in the cheeks issue, but it was more of a bottom lip embouchure issue that was not allowing the reed to vibrate. Another issue that I've been dealing with a lot with circular breathing is just the annoying air sniffing sound. There's some people who will circular breathe and like really loud breathe in through their nose, which is important because you get in more air and it goes by more quickly, which is good. But to me like that really loud circular breathing just isn't worth it. So figuring out how to breathe in really relaxed and quietly through the nose while doing the actual circular breathing was a challenge as well. So here's my process for learning how to circular breathe. So the first thing I do is I start with just a normal note, just playing a note, and then try playing that note with my cheeks out and see if I can maintain the same quality of sound. So you can hear a little change when my cheeks are out versus when my cheeks are in, but it's pretty close. And I'm not doing any circular breathing yet, I'm just playing a note with my cheeks puffed out. Some of you might be better at that naturally than others, but if you're used to playing with your cheeks puffed out, you probably shouldn't be worried about circular breathing yet, you should work on that embouchure first. But that's the first thing to do, is make sure that you can play with your cheeks puffed out because that's going to be important for when we get into the actual circular breathing. The next step is to try to make sound on the instrument with just the cheek air. So for this, I'm not gonna blow at all. I'm just gonna start with my cheeks out and sort of blow into the instrument, blow with my cheeks into the instrument and see what comes out. So that sounds something like this. And you can hear that's a pretty bad sound, but that's okay. As good as you can get this sound, the better, obviously. And again, I'm still in the process of doing this, so I'm not perfect at circular breathing by any means, but it's really normal for that not to sound as good as a normal note, because after all, we have pretty much no air support to it. It's just cheek air support, right? Now, the next step is to try doing that and inhale at the same time. So that goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
And as much as you can, try to make that inhale as silent as possible so it's not <laughs> because that's annoying. Now the final step that may be the most challenging is to try playing a normal note and then cheek air and then lung air and make that transition back and forth. And again, you can do this without actually breathing in to start just to get the cheek air to lung air uh, and then incorporate the breath in while you do the cheek air. I won't demonstrate both just because it's, it's basically the same thing and it'll sound the same, um, but it's good to do both. So that goes something like this, whether you're breathing in through your nose or not. <laughs> And again, I'm not great at it yet, and it will always sound kind of bad when it's just on one steady note. It takes a ton of practice to get one steady note going really well. But if you practice doing that, then it'll really help you to solidify and refine the mechanics of your circular breathing. At this point, you may also notice some issues where along one of those points that we've already talked about is more of the issue. So for me, actually, I was noticing my sound quality decrease just when I puffed my cheeks before I actually did the circular breathing process. So I might practice more just playing with my cheeks puffed to get that sounding good. But anyways, moving on to sort of the last step is to actually incorporate moving your fingers while circular breathing so that you can circular breathe and play whatever music you might need to be playing while you're circular breathing. And that goes something like this. <laughs> When you're starting to incorporate everything together with moving your fingers and doing the circular breathing at the same time, I highly recommend doing like a simple scale pattern or something that you're really familiar with so you don't have to worry about what your fingers are doing and you can focus on just the circular breathing pattern. I also recommend always doing it on like one place or one note. So I was always doing it on the low F. I was playing F up to C, um, sort of back up and down. And I was always doing it on the F so I could sort of know I was going to circular breathe and be prepared and then execute it when I needed to. So that in music, when I eventually am good enough to actually circular breathe in music, then I can be used to that and sort of plan it and know where I'm going to do it, just like we plan any other breath. And rather than having it as like a last resort thing when I'm super scared and nervous, but it's an actual intentional musical decision on where to circular breathe. All right, I hope this helped to give you a little bit more in-depth overview of circular breathing and a guide on how to actually do it on the clarinet. If you have any questions about it, be sure to leave that in the comments. And also if you have any other circular breathing tips or advice, I would love that because I could use it for myself and everybody else who watches this could use it as well. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching this and I look forward to seeing you in another video.